mentioned different head types available. Hexagonal, M8 up to M20. So you've got a standard protrusion. You've got like an oversized washer, if you like, and then the ball head. We've got the countersunk version. We countersink the collar and use a countersunk screw to go into the collar. So you've still got that collar protruding on the outside of your steelwork. Finally, we've got flush fit, which, as it says, it sits completely flush with your outside bracket. So the only difference being you have to countersink your bracket rather than a normal hole. This is Derby Station in the UK. Now, what they've actually done here is added this canopy after the station was being built. Now, they needed, they were going to bolt it, drill and bolt it to the web of the beam, but they don't have access behind that web. So what they had to do is use hollow bolt. So it's just an example of it doesn't have to be used in hollow section. This, for example, is through the web of a beam. As long as there's access behind where the hollow bolt can expand, they can quite easily be used. This is an offshore application. It's quite a very simple, small part of handrail that's been bolted onto the platform. Now, the other option here would have been to drill through the actual platform itself and have a guy abseil over the edge and tighten the nuts from below. The problem is you're only fixing four, five, six bolts. And every time you have somebody to go over the edge, you have to have a rescue vessel on standby. You can imagine the cost involved just to install a small bit of handrail like that. So by using hollow bolt, they can drill through from above, install a hollow bolt and on they go with the rest of the job. This is the council version being used at the Thames Exchange in London. Because these connections are visible, you can see them through the glass lift. The architect wanted them to be that little bit neater, so he's gone for the countersunk version. And finally, the flush fit. Originally designed for aesthetic reasons, here you can see it's practical. On the top of this uh, hollow section would be the glazing bars. If they'd used any other hollow bolt, you would have the collar and the bolt head protruding above the section. By using flush fit, it sits completely flush with the steelwork, so they could run the glazing bars along the top.